Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be painting an eagle owl with oils. So this is one of those pieces where you didn't really know where it was going when you first started. You just had that urge, you was like, I just need to paint. <laughs> so I took a 8x10 inch masonite panel that I had previously primed, did my sketch, and then I did a wash of blue acrylic paint because I knew the color tone that I wanted to go with. Um, was kind of a foggy teal blue shade um, in complement to the brown tones of the owl. So those are largely the two major tones that I'm going to be working with. So I wanted the environment to mostly have blue, so that's why I decided to go with the blue wash first. So then once the paint was dry, I, I jumped in straight with my oil paints and started kind of blocking in the bulk of the owl. I didn't want it to be a particularly refined piece, I wanted there to be a lot of texture, so that's why I was rather rough with my brush strokes and didn't really try to blend things out because that would have ruined the effect I was going for. One thing I really wanted to do with this painting is truly have the owl sort of disappearing into the background. So imagine it's really foggy out and the further the owl is away, so parts like the wingtips would disappear into the background. So I knew that was kind of one effect that I was going for. Since most of this was done really roughly, I used pretty big brushes the entire time. Now adding all those little bars of color on the wings. I made sure to blend these out afterwards so they weren't too distinct. So again, they kind of look like they were kind of blurring into the background as well. And we're done. So it was a really quick piece. It was really refreshing to kind of just hash out a quick painting with some really strong colors, especially of a subject that I'm particularly passionate about. If it's, <laughs> it's no secret that I love owls. Um, so it's just in general a really fun piece and I look forward to doing more of these little guys in the future. It's nice to be able to kind of take a step back and not focus hugely on the details all the time, but to pay more attention to the actual environment and the ambiance of the piece. And I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out. So overall, I'm pretty happy with it. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Usually I try to upload videos as often as I can. And if you have any suggestions of videos that you would like to see, leave a comment down below. Thanks, guys.